So Stacy, you say Matt's in the Market is a lovely special occasion spot. Tell us why you chose it. I think the food and I think the flavors, like everything just seems to work. Every time I've gone, it's always been super consistent. Nothing's ever been sort of like hit or miss. Like everything that I've eaten there has just been amazing food. So what did you eat? We started out with these fried, fresh, um, huge prawns. Um, and they had cotija cheese and these sort of melt-in-your-mouth grits. We also had a grilled octopus with, um, it had sort of this house-made kimchi and pork belly. And they had this sort of cold pea soup. They had a seared scallop in the middle that was so, I was, as I was eating it, it almost made me remember, like, it is spring in Seattle. It was great. Boy, I started with this salad. It, it said uh, asparagus salad with a, a f hen's egg or something and I didn't know it arrived it was warm and there was some kind of sauce on it maybe it was just salt and butter I don't know I almost licked the plate <laughs> it, it was really good but then my main deal was seafood stew and it had yeah scallops in there a huge bunch of mussels and like you said all fresh right. stuff they probably just bought them right over right. there at the at the market. We need to stop talking about this restaurant right now. I know. <laughs> because we go. uh, viewers cannot go there. Uh, and because if they stop going there, I'll have an easier time getting a table. Uh, my meal was extraordinary. I sat down with no intention of having anything very special. I just wanted to get a sense of the place. And deviled eggs were on the menu. And so I thought, deviled eggs? I didn't Look. see those. Yeah. So, and yeah. they were chef's choice. Each one had something special about it, and each one was a representation of a different part of the market. A little piece of octopus, a little piece of salmon, mackerel, all kinds of stuff. Um, and it was tremendous. I was surprised that there was any pork belly uh, right. when you got to the restaurant because I thought I had eaten it all. So pork yeah. belly yeah. is the uncured bacon part mm -hmm. of the pig, basically, yeah. in a big, thick slab, yeah. right? So it kind of has this like fatty, <laughs> succulent yeah. goodness. Like <laughs> food magic, I Yeah, think. exactly right. Food exactly magic. right. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Did anyone have sweets? It was called yeah. Mexican bread pudding, and it had uh, uh, a, what was the it's sauce? chocolate, right? Isn't yeah, it? and yeah. it was insane. Uh, it was, and bread pudding is an all-time favorite for me. And so as soon as he said one of our specials is bread pudding, I was like, ha la 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 must bring to table. All right, well, talk to me about your service experience on this visit, Stacy. It's really relaxed and almost just a perfect, perfect setting as far as food and timing and everything like that. The server was just great. I mean, here I'm in basically swimming in this bowl. <laughs> and you know how sometimes they come over and how you do it. He walked by, he just, he was looking, but he just was ignoring me. And then, like, partway through, he just brings bread. I didn't even have to, he's, you know, we're, we're on ESP. And the host that brought you to sit down, sit you down, get your drink, and then later he's the busboy, yeah. too. Clearing the, so it's super efficient. There's just like two guys in there, yeah. and the whole place is running like and he, clockwork. And what about ambiance, David? Who can we expect to find at Matt's in the Market? Um, well, you know, I was surprised by how many tourists were there. Um, and I don't mean that in the sense that, like, you know, oh, it was a cluttered place with people you know, bringing in their bags. Mm. It seemed as if they had discovered this secret stairway, and they were coming up, and a lot of them were looking around like, wow, what's this place we found? It yeah. is a secret staircase. Like, I don't even think, I had heard of Matt's in the Market, and I only started going probably like a year ago. And then when, once I got there, I was like, this is where it is, because you really don't know. It's sort of that, like, little slice of heaven that's secretly stashed away. He said, I'm standing at the pig. He says, well, look over to your left. <laughs> Cross the and, street. You know, I almost like waved at him. I go up there and then he's there. But yeah, there was a little sign, but I just had missed it. I went up and down for a while. Right. So it, was, it is a secret staircase. And what about the look of the room? Like, how was the decor? It's got a great atmosphere. The windows are so big. There's so much light coming in. Um, and in the evening, too, the sense of the city is right there as well. Uh, very simple decor, I think. I mean, most yeah. of the yeah. tables just had tulips on them because it was, you know, Seattle Spring. Uh, but it felt very open. You could see right into the kitchen. That was really great about it because you could kind of smell these awesome things coming out of the kitchen and wondering, like, what is that? And when am I coming back to eat that? <laughs> yeah. And there's a few different seating options, right? Well, you can definitely just sit at the bar top and you get the same menu, which is nice. And you, you get more interaction that way, certainly with the bartender than you would probably with the server. And then um, you can also just have regular dining. It's a pretty small restaurant, mm -hmm. I would yeah, say. Very much so. I mean, definitely uh, my style of building, old big beams and stuff like that, and just regular windows. And, and in fact, it was getting kind of warm. Finally, one of the servers just opened up some of the, the windows so the air would come in. And it, it was just really a nice atmosphere. My, like I say, my sort of style. Well, Stacy, you picked Matt's in the market. <clears throat> Sum it up for us. 
I think it's a great place to go either with friends or family or people out of town. And it's a great place to experience Northwest food at its finest with its freshest ingredients. If you go to Matt, Matt's in the Market, please take me. <laughs> <laughs> Just take me. Call me. Take me to the market. Stand at the pig, look northwest, <laughs> uh, northeast, and then go up and get some kind of seafood, which is what they have. Well, you too can climb the secret staircase and try the fresh local cuisine for yourself at Matt's in the Market, 94 Pike Street in Seattle, 206-467-7909. Open Monday through Saturday for lunch and dinner and closed on Sundays. Reservations are accepted.